always start by reading the question. This question asks us to consider the size and shape of atomic orbitals with respect to their corresponding quantum numbers. The two particular orbitals they ask us to examine are highlighted in orange. In planning your approach, you should remind yourself what you know about each of the quantum numbers n, l, and ml. The quantum number n tells us about the orbital's size. It can be any whole positive number. The quantum number l describes the orbital's shape and is given by a letter, s, p, d, or f. These letters correspond to the numbers 0, 1, 2, or 3, respectively. L can range from 0 to n minus 1 for a given orbital. Finally, the quantum number ml specifies the orbital's orientation in space and has a value between negative l and positive l. With this information, we're ready to examine the figures and solve the problem. The first highlighted orbital is spherical, so it must be an s orbital. That means it has an l value of 0. It is also the smallest s orbital, so n will equal 1. Finally, if l equals 0 and ml has a value between negative l and positive l, then the value for ml can only be 0. Let's move on to the next one. These orbitals are shaped kind of like dumbbells, so they must be p orbitals. That makes l equal to 1. The highlighted one is the smallest of the p orbitals, so n must equal 2. Remember, there is no 1p orbital. Finally, if l is equal to 1, then ml can be 1, 0, or negative 1. The question asks for only one set of quantum numbers, and this drawing could correspond to any of the possible ml values, so just pick your favorite one. Finally, check to make sure you answered the whole question, and we're done.